Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Another Dirty Room Live. Here we are looking down the corridor here, and I'm going to head into our room. I'm here with uh, my co-host this evening. And we'll see how Oh, hello. Come on in. Yes, we're all here. Just gonna have a little snack. Oh, I see we uh we, we picked out on some <clears throat> Popeyes. Chicken. It is so hot in here. And it smells so nice. Just oh, it, uh, let me tell you, dinner was really special. Because of the aroma? The aroma of the room. It just, now I'm going to wipe this lens. With your, uh, there we go. Oh, is that better? Yes, much better. Oh, I'm All right, you guys. Um, so what we're looking at here is a double bed. We have two double beds. Two double beds. So much. All right. Now, when we came in here, this air conditioner was not running. The room is 100 degrees. Horrible. And <clears throat> it wasn't blowing very much. I wonder why, Dan. Should I show? So why don't you show them why it wasn't blowing that, that much? It's kind of stuck. Oh, yes. Years of grime and filth and disgust all on this thing so air can't even get through cuts it down and we're trying to get the room cooled down for the show <clears throat> and uh yeah it look let me get a close up here look at how hideous yeah that's all skin. And how hard is it? Dandruff. To, how hard is this to take care of? It takes about it's one minute, a minute yeah. to rinse it out and clean it off. That's it. So let me continue the room tour here. We have this wonderful TV base up here on a wood. Say it says hold wood base to rotate. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It's effortless. All right, so. Why didn't they make it so it wasn't tilted at an angle? So it was horizontal instead of like that? Why didn't they make it so it was like that? Why? There's a lot of uh, construction related things I want to bring up that are actually in the bathroom. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. Man, I look like... Oh, you mean repairs, basically. Ah, there's fucking flies everywhere. Yes, they are in there. Where are the flies coming from? They were here. In the room. They're just coming out the same The way. room is filled with flies. I'm not talking... I'm talking about black flies, not... Not drain flies, but no, black house flies. flies. House flies, yeah. Alright, so... Here we're gonna go look around. Um, you can see they have hand signed art, which is really such a great touch. It is. Janet Van something. The one thing here that I found surprising, well, they put this chair here. I don't know why they have the chair there. I'm going to set the chair up on the bed. There's a closet. They have a closet here. Well, wait a minute. You can actually, you can actually hang things. The closet is actually probably cleaner than the room, to be honest with you. And knowing the clientele, it's never used. Yeah, they don't use this closet. So we have the closet. Did the room have an option for an hour by hour rate? Didn't ask. 
but we'll find out. Uh, oh, these look nice. Rick? They're, they're without any comfort Everything is cushion. It's, it's so all flat. gone. <laughs> and there's a fly in there. A fly just landed on my screen. Okay. Bathroom. Well, I hope you're small. Because uh, the bathroom... It's not ADA is accessible. Not... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is definitely not, not ADA at accessible. Uh, but it is a tunnel floor. At least there's no holes. In the, the toilet seat is kind of. Here's a, here's a fly watching you. I, they're everywhere, Rick. Right? There's one right here on the. Uh, oh yeah, see, look, these flies are everywhere. There we go. No uh, bulb or the bulb. No, lens. No, no lens. Yeah. Looks like we have some new soap tonight, Rick. Geminal. Ge <laughs> like as in seminal. No, it's Gemini. Oh, Gemini. Oh, okay, Gemini. Gemini. It's like. Of twins. course, it's naturally made from fine vegetable oil. Let's see, it says it's... This actually has a list of ingredients. Sodium palmate water. Sodium palm... Kern... What? Kernelate? Okay. Glycerin. Fragrance. Mm. Sodium chloride. And titanium... Dioxide. Dioxide. Oh. But it's made from fine vegetable oil. Doesn't tell you where. You a fine head Do you head. want to open it now? Let's wait for the bathroom check. Let's wait. I know you're really. Well, I thought you were doing that. I know you're really anxious to get to the. No, it's okay. To the soap. Little... Your mouth is watering. Look, look, there's another. I think it's a shampoo in there. Could it be? It's a uh, phase and body. No, it's the same. It's just oh, the it's same on, crap. Is it? Is it? God, cars? this place is so tiny. Yeah. This is like a coffin. The shower is like this a is coffin. This is a thirty-six inch by thirty-six inch stall. I mean, it's a... three by three. <sighs> yep. Common in the. Uh... 70s when they started doing these fiberglass inserts. Someone said Rick is already frothing at the mouth. He hasn't even had soap yet. No, I had some chicken instead. We had Popeyes. It was good. <clears throat> I haven't okay. had anything since this morning. This thing's very dirty. You can just tell by looking at it. They haven't washed it. Uh, that's how, how many how many people have stepped on feet this? have been on that? Hundreds. And you're gonna get out of the shower and put your foot down and yes, step the, on on this cloth that fucking contains the remains of countless users prior. Uh, so the first thing I think we should do. You know this carpet. This carpet is. It's a swatch of carpet. It's, it's not, not even. Big. It's like the cheapest stuff you could get. Oh God. You can see the stick. Oh no! Look. I think you can see where it's what's been there. Oh uh, no! But it is a bound remnant. Yeah, it is a bound remnant. But well, we'll see more of that in a minute. But that's definitely. We got wooden frames with a box spring. It looks like a freaking crate. Like yeah, underneath, so the beds have wooden frames on the bottom. Uh, Usually good for holding things or creating habitat for yes. roaches, spiders, other things like that. Yeah. So we're going to find other oh, remotes disgusting. Look at the remote. Look at this thing. It's old. It's dated. 
It's put together with band-aids. Band-aids, the kind that were like... Band-aids and... Sur- sport ones. And then Band-aids and surgical tape. Surgical tape. Have been used to put this together. Grandma, so that's disgusting. When Grandma had that bed sore and they needed the extra bandages, that's where we got this. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Rick, look at the... Uh, is that Supposedly. food on there? Yeah, it's like a... Ketchup? What is that? Brain? God, I hope not. Look at it in the phone. It's horrible. Oh, that's... You can get closer, we have another chair. That's pretty. Uh, let me tell you guys, it's it's so comfortable in here right now, isn't it? Yes, now it's, it's getting better. Oh, yeah. It's really, the tides are turning. Um, <laughs> we needed that. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> we have, uh-oh. Rick Sarah investigates. Here, do you want a light? Hold on. Yeah, let me hold your feed. Let me hold the camera. <clears throat> It looks like flecking, or what is that? It looks like flecking, doesn't it? What is it, Rick? The closer I look, the more concerned I grow as to what it is. What do you mean? I don't know, but I think we need to scrape it off and then maybe do a heem stick on it. Oh, no. I think it might be a piece of flesh. Are you fucking Yes. Me? Bring it out so you, it's not blurry. Ugh. Spaghettios. Yeah, it might just be food splatter. That's that was the first impression I had. It was ketchup, but my God. But why did it just my, splatter? Why did it just splatter on the meat on that and not on the <coughs> more of a larger surface? All right, here's our Popeyes that is now in the way. We should probably move it. Okay. Because we want to. I'm just going to take a quick peek in here. And it is surprisingly. Oh, look, it came with water. Is that water or booze? No, oh, it's the water. Good, yes. good call. Surprisingly, uh, not that bad looking. I can tell you though, right now, looking at this, there's a lot of mold in this thing that needs to be cleaned. Grab that, Rick. Now the microwave, you can see right here. Um, the whole front. The of front the of the is microwave gone. is gone. So. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? There's you no way to open it. it. What? You can't open it. <laughs> oh, okay. You there you it. go. Dated. A little gross, but not, not, horrible. not horrible. Is it even plugged in? No. I didn't think so. Yeah, it's not plugged in. I really don't think it should be used. I mean, the protective screen for uh, the microwave energy is gone. So, stand there and you can really damage yourself. No shield if it was running. The magnetron might not even go into... Uh, won't even power up maybe 
because it doesn't have the uh, the latch, which probably closes a circuit, and turns it on. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, first things first, we're gonna do, oh God. Sweat in your eyes. It's just burning. Oh fuck. Oh. Sorry. Huh? I know how it is. Man. It sucks. Okay. Oh man, I wish it would it needs to be about 10 degrees. I am so glad I used my Dollar Shave Club. Yeah, we're not doing that because we can't. We're <laughs> not doing that. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do first here is we're going to do a black light test. So we're just going to go around the room with the trusty black light and look and see what we can find. So we'll see if we see any. Tell signs. Any filth. I don't think we're going to find a lot, to be honest with you. For some reason, it seems... A little cleaner than we're used to. Oh, what is that? What? It's a fly. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just saw something crawling next, yeah, next to Rick's hand. It's like, did it come out from the switch? Oh, shit. All right, uh, go ahead and kill ready? the lights. Look on the fridge itself. On the front door. It's been painted. Okay. That's why it looks like this. Look at this. Underneath that, it's just so much bacteria on there. You see it all. There's another friendly fly. Flying around friendly. Thank you, friendly fly. Down here? Yeah, see the splatter? We got some splatter. That's normal around food. Yep. Now, nothing could be as dramatic as the semen under the desk Oh my god! from last week. Holy shit. Uh, the, the semen under the desk thing was... Look at, the, look, look at the shape on the chair, Rick. Looks like a butt. Yeah, look at it. Oh, it's been... Somebody's been sitting there naked. It's like... <clears throat> More of the natural color there, but it's been fading here and there. <laughs> Gluteus Maximus. No, oh, it looks like a little bit Something of... Something down there, yeah. What's some happiness there? shot up in the a air. A little bit. That's very, very striking, that pattern there, isn't it? Oh. How about the side here? It... It's just stuff dripping. It's just dripping down. Oh, amazing surprises. No. I do like that spot between the two. It always catches everything. Yeah. Right there in that fold. Yeah, this black light's great. I mean, this one in particular. We've used several different ones. And this one I like the best. It's, usually, it's pretty strong. Anything down that wall? Not that I can see. Huh. Oh, go kill that bathroom light. Okay. Now this is gross. That's grossing me out. Look at the <clears throat> bacteria. in the vents of the air conditioning unit. This is all bacteria. Look at it. You see it all there, Rick? Even the phone is disgusting. Lift the phone up real quick. Oh, oh God. Oh, man, yeah. Oh, geez, that looks horrible. And fly, fly around. All right. They replaced the windows, Dan. They what? They replaced their windows at some point. Yeah, they they got them used. Maybe that's why the flies got stuck in here. They put new windows in. 
could that be the reason why? And it was open when they were done. Oh, Rick, come on. Lit, lift up that dust thing again, and let's just look at it in the black light. Oh, my God. Look at how horrible that looks. Several colors. Yeah. Ugh. It's basically just several different bacteria is really what it is. Very dusty. We haven't looked in the drawers yet, but as I said, we have this lampshade here that's completely fogged. What the hell? Looks like somebody shot it. It looked like a bullet went through it. Oh, thanks. The flies are really happy tonight. Could that have? Could that have been a bullet, Rick? Holy fucking flies! They're all in that lampshade. Rick. I don't know. Could just been somebody put their finger. The flies are everywhere. <laughs> but there's damn well a lot of flies in that damn thing. Okay. That was. That was expensive. All right now. I'm just gonna take a little walk over here. See if that yeah, closet yeah, sometimes as we thought. Sometimes strange things happen in, in these little closets. In these little closets. And it's all over the wall. Maybe oh here's a fly. Flying around in the closet. Nothing to see in here. I'll tell you one thing, I'm about to go to each and stack some flies. We've got this, you can see uh, they're like dark purple um, spots on this. You can't really see it on camera, but you can see it very well on here. And it is just bacteria from, oh Lord. Wow, this really opens up, tells a story when you don't have the black light on. Look at this. Oh, oh no. Look, <laughs> look at all the pee pee. Pee pee? It's just piss everywhere. Oh my god. Look at the, look at the fucking, um, the mold. It's, it's all, it's so obvious. Look how green it is, though. It comes out green. Oh god. Look on this up here. Yeah. I'll let it splatter up here. Yeah. A little bit up here on the mirror. Yeah. We can run some hands Over on here, this. too. Look at down here. Down here. Rick, did you notice up here? Look at that. With this? That's the hot and cold water. The plumbing works. Huh? It's crazy. That's where they put shut off at. Ah! Damn it, they keep landing on my neck. The flies? Yes! They're thirsty. Yes. That's what's fucking going on. Oh, they were hungry now. They yeah, they're thirsty and crazed. Pee. Tons of pee behind the toilet. Large amounts of pee. Nobody can aim. And it's, it's close quarters, so it kind of messes with the angle me. and everything. I wish I could just kill this bastard. They keep landing on my head. Look, they're all behind the toilet. That's not too weird. Where are they coming from? Well, this thing must clean itself. Doesn't look that bad. It's because it's such That's a, a good thing. Artificial surface, I guess. All right, so black light tests a little pass through the room with a black light. Um, definitely yielded some results, wouldn't you say? I would say. All right, now we have to figure out now because I want to say hello to our. Super chats here. How are you supposed to do that? 
Well, I was trying to figure out a way to do it, but it's not going to work. Put it on top of the microwave and sit in that chair. Perfect. Um, here, you, here, you do the super chats. I'm going to um, load load up the batteries. Okay. Okay. So, so you're going to click that, and then so they'll, here, they'll all be together, right? Super chats. Mm-hmm. And there's a few of them, so. Just start at the top and work your way down. Okay. And thank you guys. We love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. And special thanks to these folks who... Uh-oh. What do I do now, Dan? Just tap it. <clears throat> no, you don't. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Here, you put the batteries in. I'll take care of it. I forgot... <clears throat> It, it went right away as soon as you walked. No, I know, I know. I know. I'm sorry, everyone. Rick is retarded. And I've tried you, to... You asshole. I've tried to help him get better, but it's just really difficult. Why am I so miserable tonight? <laughs> These flies. Okay. We go through... You deleted the message. No. Oh my God. All right, great. Um, well, whoever donated $5, Rick deleted your message. But we love you, thank you very much. Heather Ray, love you too. Cinema Enthusiast 93, hey Dan. Another great, to another great night filled with filth. Wouldn't have it any other way. Emmett M. McAdams, hello, how are you tonight? Uh, Sharon, hello, how are you? Figment 43, the room's making me claustrophobic. It is small, Rick. I would say so. Someone random, I'm here for the poop. Again, we love having you. Laura Odell, for smokes, lots of love. Thanks, thank you, Laura. Konecki, bring back asbestos. Love you guys. Victoria Lowe, hi, how are, how are we doing, Rick? Victoria Lowe would like to know. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Yep, just getting We started. haven't peeled back the bed yet. We'll see how that goes. We really will have to wait and see how that goes. Shannon Finch, you're becoming our Saturday night special. Shannon, thank you for being here, darling. Trisha C, love you too. S uh, smallest step. Wait a minute, cancel. Cancel. Uh, he's no Jaden, but how about a Rick Nip slip? A nip slip? <sighs> Seriously. Just show them your nipple. Okay, okay, thank you. The things we'll do for a few dollars. Thank you, smallest. <laughs> uh, multiple object selector. It's fly vomit, Dan. That could be... Jess Bishop, thank you so much. Love you and Rick. Love what you do. Rick under blacklight looks like a zombie Elton John. <laughs> 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 Jess Bishop, thank you so much, darling. PB Max Man, uh, I've been watching ADR from the beginning. Great show. And you provide a good service for those who travel. Thank you so much. Red Toy, hi, Dan and Rick. Love your dirty rooms. Small contribution from Quebec. Come to Canada for your other dirty room. We're going to. Danny Poole. My girlfriend and I love you, and we have a healthy obsession with watching your content. Ha-ha. Danny, you and your girlfriend sound like people. Sound like kindred spirits. Thank you so much. Abra Wilder. It's like a bad train wreck. I can't look away. It really is. Sammy Moore. We love you too, honey. Thank you so much. Bill Platt, thank you so much. Glad to see you back. Jason Hu, thank you so much, man. Rain, Sal Rain Saltaire. How much was the room? $80. I'm not even joking. I didn't even say that. The room was $80 for this Hubble. 80 bucks. It, this room should be 50 
or 45. Yes, yes. Uh, Dark Knight. So just start doing A, another dirty room, another dirty cabin, because Tennessee is full of them. Well, a spinoff, maybe, perhaps? Thanks, Dark Knight. Adam Bowman, we love you too. Thank you so much, kind sir. Holly Nicole, lots of love to you both. Thanks for always putting on a great show. Love you, Holly. Sammy Moore, my mom says hi too. Hello, Sammy Moore's mother. Good to see you. Glad you're here. BSDAM, love you guys. Keep up the great work. Thank you, BSDAM. We appreciate it. Love all you guys that are here tonight. We're very happy to see you here. Just a few announcements before we begin. First, this is the live edition of Another Dirty Room. This is unedited. It's live. Uh, the replays are the replays after the show is complete. Um, for those of you who are not crazy about the live edition, some people don't like it, some people really like it. But there's enough of you who really like it that we're going to keep doing it. Um, <clears throat> we have six new episodes of Another Dirty Room, an <clears throat> edited version. Edited version. We start shooting them next week. I have to go to New York next week. We're, we're all meeting up in New York and shooting new episodes. Uh, so we're very excited about that. And we're shooting new episodes in New Orleans in September. Ooh -la. We're excited about that. So that's six new edited episodes. Um, you'll never see a live ADR on the main Dan Bell channel because that's why we have the Film It channel for stuff like this. We do, this is like my channel, like, oh, there's something left over on the card. Let me cut it up and put it up kind of thing. Or I'll do a quiet story or I'll do, a, you know, whatever. It's called Film It. I film it and put it up. Um, but these live streams have been so much fun for us. I really enjoy doing them, and I'm just so glad you guys are having a great time watching them. So, as long as you guys are enjoying it, um, and we can sustain, we'll keep doing them, because obviously this is uh, a lot of fun for us. Rick Sara has his own YouTube channel now. Yes. Um, the link... We, we put the, um, the link, a customized URL through YouTube earlier this evening. Now, I don't know if the customized URL is working yet, but the link is youtube.com slash C slash Rick Sarah, S-E-R-R-A. Now, if you can't find that, if someone could be so kind to find it, it's, a video on there introducing himself and his head if you could find it and put the link in the these uh, comments for everyone it would be great if you go over there and sign up because Rick is going to be shooting um, his colonoscopy that's coming up no I'm just kidding uh, he's gonna uh, yes. <laughs> he's gonna be Live filming streaming. behind the scenes stuff uh, when we shoot dirty room we've never had sort of somebody concentrate on that and so Rick's gonna be shooting behind the scenes content for another dirty room. So I think a lot of you will find that very interesting. Um, and who knows what else he'll come up with. Uh, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so we're very, very looking forward to Rick's channel. And you can also follow Rick on Instagram at Sarah, S-E-R-R-A dot Rick. And to finish off announcements, you can follow me on Instagram at this is Dan Bell. Uh, that's the best place to follow for announcements, stuff like that. Also, we have uh, just a few more main channel announcements. Creeps and Monsters 2 is coming out in a couple weeks. And Down in the Devil's Well is coming out as well in probably a, a month, about a month. We're about a month away. So... Those are the announcements. Now it is time to say holy shit to whoever gave us $78. Come on. Rain Saltaire. There's that, plus the other chat page for the... Rain, thank you so much, darling. That is so sweet of you to do that. You did not need to give us that much, but thank you. Jaspel666, thank you so much. 
Um, and uh, yeah. Pig1122 loves the live streams. Thank you, Pig, so much. We're so glad you're here, honey. Okay, let's... Rick, are we prepared to rip apart one of the beds? Yes. Why would you be cons... What are you... Who are you tweeting? Oh, my wife. Tell her that we're in the middle of a broadcast. And she wants to see it. I was trying to show her how to get on it. She and can't figure it out? Okay. All right, now we are going to start the beds. Ugh. And we're going to do some also tonight. Rick, what the f... What did you do? Put it out. They would have started fire. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> what is that? What? No. Oh, All right. So Rick is going to put on some gloves. Watch Rick try to put these little teeny weeny gloves on. Oh no. You don't want to see them. They tear. Well, at least you got some coverage. Cover chest. It's like <clears throat> a wrong sized condom. You notice how it's not getting any cooler in here? Yeah, why is that? I don't understand. It's it's hot as hell. This fucking air conditioner is blowing the air onto the ground. It's not blowing up into the room. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Made all the difference. It's not doing anything. It doesn't work. It's going back down again. Yeah, I know. All right, you pick a bed. Which one do you want to do first? This one here. It's fine. Did you do the light? It's all ready. Oh, you are the best. Oh, look how the, the flies love the show, ADR. They love it so much. All right, guys. So we're going to start the bed process here. <sighs> so we look at this lovely bed spread, and I'm not seeing a lot of burns. It's really surprising. I don't see one burn. Um, now, I will say, when I rented the room, I forgot to ask for a smoking room, but then I went back to the office and I said, I said, oh, I'm sorry, sir, we wanted a smoking room. And he's like, oh, he's like, it's fine, just smoke in the room. So. Oh, here oh, we go. Now, we go. now, oh, I didn't, oh, how did I yeah. miss that? It was, how did we miss that? It was way up here. Oh, it was under the fold, I think. Yeah. Didn't see it. But. I was like shocked that there were no burn holes in the thing. Now Look these... at how ratty, the rattiest. And pilled out. Give it the sniff. That's kind of neutral. Neutral. Yes. See how this is all rolling? Yeah. And it's kind of damp. Is it damp? Yes, it's damp. Oh, it is damp. It's really damp here. <laughs> I saw the rolling. I'm thinking, All right. what's causing that? So here's a treat. We might find another pea bed. We love pea-soaked beds. Oh, look at this. I mean, this pillow is a five-star for a room like this. My goodness. Isn't that something? Now, I'm sorry I neglected to show, but it really... I'm surprised. All right, Truly. So. Pillow. Edge. It's pretty clean. 
pretty boring. They removed the tag. Under penalty at all. Uh, I think everything is just sweating. It's fine. No horrible... Well, it doesn't look dirty. No, it doesn't have any horrible smell. Yeah, surprising. I mean, that's one of the cleanest pillows we've seen on live. All right, so this one's not quite as nice, but let's see. This is like two different kind of pillows, like, you know, Hampton or other places yeah. have. Yeah, this one's... Uh, Got a little more going on. drool. The yellow. A hair. Definitely a pube. A little, a little, little cigarette burn there. Yeah. Almost got it. All right, and... Surprising. <laughs> not bad. So well, there's it doesn't not, look great. But, doesn't look great, but, but there's not, not there's not enough there to make it stink like I sweat mean, or with the pillowcase on, the stains were minimal. Those were two decent pillows for a bed. Yeah, right, right, yeah. I think that's Right. That's that's a measurement that is pretty positive for them. I think it's the the pad. Or they or they have a bed bug cover on this. No, it's this thing. Oh, it's that pad. That's what I was feeling. It was rolling up. Should we peel all this stuff off? Yeah, let me take it to the other bed. Here. It's on. Rick, you're being... He's being... Rick is being very neat tonight. And organized. I'm trying to compete with Coach. Does he think... Because somebody said... Oh, it's not Cochise? Fuck this shit. It's Rick. Oh, that fucking old piece of shit. I don't Could want to you watch please? him. please? There are children watching. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll drop the profanity. It's very offensive. The fracking asshole. Oh, my God. His asshole? Uh, could, could you hurry up? I, I don't understand what you're doing. We're not staying here. Look how the bed is hanging off this... Oh, those are covers. Bed bug cover. All right. So we either have a mattress with bed bug shit on it, or we have a brand new mattress that they that they covered. Yeah. They even covered the foundation. Yep. Which is a smart idea. Yes, it is. Cover them both before you're already infested. Rick, you want to um, fold those so that we don't wrinkle them? No, I... I'm what not. the fuck are you doing? <laughs> ah! Hurry up! <laughs> All right. I don't see anything... No. Really a problem with these sheets. I gotta tell you, this is one of the cleanest... Oh, there's one something of those, underneath, um, though. Looks like weed. No. No. No, that's a bed bug. No. That that is a bed bug shell. I'm not even joking. Okay, let's look. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I can Let see me the frame it yet. I think it might be a fragment. It is. It's a fragment of a bed bug. An old fragment. Yep. So that's very telling. Um, but yeah, that is a fragment. You can see. See it there? It's probably... You know why they have it? Because this material, it probably... It oh, wait a minute. I might be able to get pretty good in here with the audience. Let's see if I can... Yeah, so... That's a bed bug fragment... Look at how fucking dirty this.
Rick, of course, is going to save it somewhere. Someone said it's a doo doo nugget. A doo doo nugget, yeah. <laughs> All right, let. <laughs> is that part of the uh, ten piece? All right, so now I'm not now I'm not trustworthy anymore. I don't trust this place. This is a very fancy yes, it is. bed bug cover. Um, the zipper is not up here, so it would be over that way. Yes, but I'll tell you, underneath looks clean. Oh my gosh. What? Wait till you see. It's perfect? Oh yeah, it's perfect. So, good. so it's a quilted top. No wonder it was like that. Yeah. It's actually quite a nice bed. I cannot believe it. I, I'm as surprised as you are, to be honest with you. I'm sorry we picked a clean place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, let, let, let me explain something. This is not heaven in here by any means. No, but the bed is compared to almost every place we go to. We did find a live a, a bed bug carcass. Okay, we have. I'm lots not of flies. ready to break open the champagne just yet. There are flies everywhere, and looking at this mattress, if there's a problem, I think the evidence is in that. One. Look, what's that tag say on the mattress there? Is that a price tag? It's a stock tag. Yeah, it's, oh, it's a new. stock it's tag. It's that new, and it's like hardly yellowed. Huh. This is not that old. No. So we'll give the owners. Uh, we'll get. This is definitely. You have to tell them we were impressed with the bed. No, I'm not impressed with the bed. We found a bed bug shell on it. I'm not impressed with the bed. I'm impressed. With the fact that they bought clean mattresses and put covers over them to protect them. Now, here comes the fun part. And, boy, I've been just having a great night. You just do everything. And I, yes, aren't you really you know? lucky? It's actually not that nice. Oh, I'm seeing, uh, wait a minute. They have a uh, diatomaceous earth over here too. On the floor? Um, yeah, back here. So they might have, there was probably a previous. And what about this piece right here? It's nothing. You don't think? No, it's, it looks like tobacco. All right. It's like tobacco, I think. It's the zipper. Uh, zipper is up there. Alright. Here, I'll let you do it. Yes, thanks. I'm you. trying to hold the camera. Excuse yes, me. I know, Dan. It's nice of you. Oh. Well, we do have a quarter under the bed. Twenty-six cents back. But otherwise, surprisingly, not bad. The room, look, molding isn't that old. Yeah, it's pretty tight to the wall. So they've redone this, this room. room. Yeah, 
I don't think recently, but in the last maybe few years. But this is like, and then you did, this is what you do for a foundation? I know. That's what I'm saying. It's really half-assed. Why didn't they just buy the metal? I know. That's you know? Oh, we don't need to do that. Uh, I'll just buy some lumber. Or no, I'm going to go to the scrapyard and just get some lumber. And I'm going to make my own piece. Can I look under the rug? I see specs over there. Yeah, I see. Oh, these are mouse droppings. Okay. Yeah. Look out there. Okay. But yeah, these here, those are mouse droppings. Mouse droppings. So Nee, 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 nee. Janet Va Van Arsdale. Don't take that off. They put it up there permanently. I thought they hung it. They nailed it in. Oh. Look under the back of it. Yeah, well, they usually do that so people don't steal the artwork. Well, I was also looking for insects, actually. Oh, well. Sorry. Of there course. There wasn't enough time. Of course. <sighs> okay, guys. So we just did the first... I'm looking for the fucking zippers. Where is it? clean really uh, it's does it even match the top i don't think so oh look what's the idea on there look at this one i mean it looks the same number look so. so i think they were bought together yeah they were bought together probably slightly used so this from is a, from a hotel somebody, place somebody peed the bed and they stain this side here. Right. So that's unfortunate for them. Well, nothing a bed bug cover can't cover up. Well, can hide it. That's what it's all about in these motels is just cover it up. Use strong fragrances or... Keep ahead of the game. Keep ahead of the game. I mean, just cover could, it up. You could actually think about That's all you got to do. Just cover it up. Clean around a little bit. What do you think about that idea? Oh, I, th I think it's great. The cleaning be okay? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to sit for a moment and have a... I haven't... I need to have a cigarette. You think so? Okay. It's been an hour. I haven't had a cigarette. It's time. It's too... That's too long. The people in Marlboro, the manufacturing plant, were just very scared. Again, thank you to Rain Saltier for taking care of our hotel bill tonight. What? Come on. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Oh, man. Um, Two Uh-oh. Damn. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. Uh, okay. Um, Amanda. Zeno, uh, Amanda Zeno, glad I am catching part of the live stream. Thanks for, damn it, what is going on with this? Uh, this is for creeping me out the other night. Love what you do. Thank you, Amanda. That was pretty scary, wasn't it? Fat Cat. Hello, Dan and Rick. Great to see you again. Thank you, Fat Cat. Great to see you again, too. Uh, Jake Krause, can you please explain your hotel vetting process? Um, three stars or less. We yeah. pr I prefer two stars on Yelp, 
Google. Oh, for selecting these wretched places? But then also you can look and you can say, well, there's a bunch of reviewers that have given it five stars that have only reviewed that particular place. That's a big, that's a big, like, uh, okay kind of thing there, but... But yeah, so many ways. Um, Alexis Turner, I forgot a message. Dan, you're an inspiration and deserve more than you get. Rick, you're the most entertaining person online. Wow. Hashtag nude nipple club. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alexis. That's really sweet. Um, Eric Hawk. Thank you, Dano and Big Rick, for some fun after a long day of work. Sit back, we're only halfway through. Work. Ugh. Lexus Turner, thank you again. The Godfather, thank you. Hello. Sam Nutkins. Godspeed, Dan and Rick. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Uh, David Hack. Or Hake. Dan, you are awesome. Thank you. You are awesome too, Pig. Uh, we said hi to Pig before, but Pig. Hello, it's nice to see you again. Um, small, wait a minute, oh no. Uh, smallest step, F. Mary Kill, Rick, Jaden, Brennan. No! That's too hard. Here, let me get another hair for you. Got it? I have to F Mary Kill you, Jaden Brennan. Give me a second on that one. That's a difficult one. Lori, thank you so much. Bill Platt, hey, yeah, I trust me, it's like a nightmare in this room. Wash my fracking hands, fearsome hair, I'll take care of that in a minute. F Mary Kill, Jaden Brennan Brick. What does that mean? I don't even know. It means I fuck one of you, uh -huh. kill one of you, and marry one of you. Well, I want to live, and I don't want to marry you, so just fuck me. Yeah, I'm going to... Kill Jaden. I'm going to kill Jaden, marry Brennan. And fuck Rick. Oh, and fuck Rick. So... How's that? I helped you solve that one. And Brennan would be fun husband, I guess. We would just have to have like a lot of room between us. Like yeah, a like lot of room. Like decades? Like a football field. <laughs> Where I have a room. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna go back to live chat now. Thank you everyone for being here. We are continuing on. We're doing bed number two. I just noticed that my ankle is bleeding. What did you do? I don't know. You hit something. I don't know. Did you hit the corner of the platform? Look. All right, Dan. We have to take the band-aid off the back of that uh, remote control and put it on you. Not sure what happened. Talk to the people. I'm going to wash my hands. Fly by Dan, he is. He Wait, the don't flies have, don't, don't love him. You might look in there. Hello, everybody. How are you? Rick, you don't need to move those. Just let it go. You, it's, Just let it go. Okay. It's there are too much. It's too, too many. Much. Hey, I can't see the names. They. It's amazing how quickly your messages fly through because it's many. That's how many people are talking right now. We have 1,500 people with us live right now. Yes, we do. But we're just thrilled to do it. And we're also insane. Did you know that? Um, do you admit that, Dan? What are your, what are your um, predictions on bed number two? It'll be the same. 
I I don't for some reason I think this bet's gonna be worse. So far I think this is the best place this to is, take your uh, mistress for eighty bucks. I can't get over that. I can't get over that eighty bucks. That day it was what they wanted. For this room. I mean, bucks. so the air conditioner is blasting, and it is still boiling hot, hot in here. Boiling How is hot. that? I have no idea. It's like the air conditioning, you might as well turn it off. I mean, Dan always sweats. It takes me a little bit to get going. Can you see? Even I'm wilting. Well... It's time. It's time for what? I thought I was prepared. And I'm not prepared, apparently. I've lost it. Well, let me sit down and read some comments. Oh. Did I lose my... Oh, no, I didn't here. What are you looking for? Please, oh my God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did they think of that? I'm a mess. Um. Yes. Remember, Destiny Glenn. Hello, one of our wonderful mods, and I want to say hello to all the mods, and I appreciate your hard work in keeping the trolls at bay. Um. Please subscribe to Rick's channel. Let's see if we can get it up to a thousand before. We're oh, done. That would be hilarious. I mean, that would be tremendous. And uh, we need people to like this video as well. Just push that like button, please. Please. A thumbs up. Like thumbs it. up for houseflies that are flying. We like houseflies. I would say there's a two dozen houseflies At in least. here. Uh, just flying around, trying to drink and fluids off of our skin. Uh... It's fucking disgusting. They spit on you. Rick, you just hit 700 subscribers. No, I did not. Come yes, on. you did. Now, see, that's wonderful. And you can all say I was the first. We were the first big subscribers on the channel. You guys were just too good. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys. Um, okay, uh, 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 Icy Bassus, welcome back. Rick's with the sexy hair combing action. Gina Powell, thank you so much. Is that tool thingy that Rick is playing with one of those instruments you use to pierce people's tongues with? You could. It's a, it's a, um, no, no, no. she's talking about the other thing. Oh. The tongs. Rick's famous tongs. Yeah, Arter you could... Arterial clamp. You could absolutely use this to do that, yeah. Handy Man of America Club. Which we have nothing to do with, and yes. he doesn't even know what that is. No, I don't. My father. It was my father's. I inherited it from my dad. I'm just putting my cigarette out on the table oh, Dan, here. You know, I didn't know I have this. I forgot I left it in here. What is it? It's a uh, professional thermometer. And uh, as simple as it is, we can use this by just holding it for five minutes. I'll give you the room temperature. That's... Just set it on that wood base. And then when we're done the bed, we'll check the temperature of the room. I'll turn the... Uh, I'm going to say it's 85. Uh, right now, it is already at 80. Yeah, it's hot as shit in here. Okay. Look at people. Are, that is so cute. Everyone's putting in your thing to see your, your subscribers go up on your YouTube channel. Are they? That's great. I think everybody's fighting to get it to 1,000. It's almost at 800 now. Come on! 
Alex Barkman, did we read your super chat? If we didn't, I apologize, but thank you so much for being here. Uh, JMA11... Uh, damn, I can't even see what's going on. Okay, it's at 800 now, Rick. See? Rick is very popular. Dan. <laughs> Bill Platt. Here he goes. Dan, that's a meat thermometer, not a professional thermometer. Rick is an idiot. <laughs> um, thank you for being so observant that it is a food thermometer, but uh, I'm sorry that you don't think it works, sir. Maybe you should do public health and you would know it worked fine for air temperature. Thank you. <laughs> I only did it for 30 fucking years. <laughs> we didn't have fancy shit. We had a basic thermometer that you could calibrate with ice water. You can document and use legally in a court of law. So that's not good enough? All right. You get fancy shit. You got to calibrate it. You got to have documentation of the calibration. You got to have all that as your part of your case. All that just to prove that the thing works. These work plus or minus five degrees, or two degrees, I'm sorry, Fahrenheit. Plus or minus two. So, I wouldn't get upset, sir, but you have to characterize me as an idiot. That is, like, without any respect. So do some research, look in the mirror, and say I was really unfair to Rick Sarah. Thank you. <laughs> Bill, thank you so much. For the entertainment. What a... That was great. Did, did you a, diva, a diva meltdown as his subscriber numbers go through the roof. Triggered Rick. Triggered. <laughs> Triggered Rick. Oh. Okay. Ready for bed number yes. two? All right. It is now time... To do bed number two. Triggered Rick here is leading the investigation. Without a proper thermometer. Like a fucking idiot. Don't have proper equipment. Low budget operation. Just like we had the th it's so funny because we have left we have, we have a really good thermal camera. And we just we pulled it out of the back. And I took it out of the back because I'm like, we're not gonna need this. We're gonna have air conditioning. I know, that's what I was thinking too when I saw you put it. So there. bad. I don't know why I didn't bring it. Alright, so this actually looks less burned so far. So let's see if I'm full again. Well, oh, but there's uh, some ice. Oh god. Brownish. Yellowish. What the hell is that? Um, is it just pee or? That's diarrhea. Yeah, it's a little more than that. It, it's diarrhea. Look, it's all over the. It, it was like it's, down the side here. Yeah, it's diarrhea. And did I think. Get, did, did you get the shit test? Can you do a, sn a sniff test on that, please? You know what? I'll do it because it is my turn. I don't trust you. If you pound that I into my face, I won't. I'm... Okay, I'm going to sniff. Do a little sniff here. But you're not on it. Here, let me help. No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. Well, you're not on it. Can you open it up like it was before? All right, here we go. It's diarrhea. No. It's diarrhea. It's all ballowicious. <laughs> you know, there's not tests for poo. But that's pretty good. But that's a pretty good test for poo. You can just smell it, and you'll know immediately if it's poo-poo or something else. So we've gotten to the end of this. And oh, this is... One thing, it's not burned. And, and the thing is, 
This hasn't been laundered, obviously, because someone shit on it. So, might be a good idea to do that. All right, so this oh, bed, another another gorgeous pillow. Now this wow. Bed, this bed's going downhill. All right, well, not so bad. Nothing on it. Flat. Some stains on Some there. Stains there. Ugh. Those are. The fiber fill is. You can see it's spreading out. There's like a piece here, a piece there. It's not that even anymore. It's like body odor. Let me. S yeah, it's body odor. Stings dirty. All right, so that. We're not looking at the most impressive. I will pillows. say though, I am impressed at the fold on the sheets. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, the sheets look like they were professionally laundered. What the hell is that, right? I mean, look at the fold on the sheets. Yes, I know it's it's like perfect with it's, the crease down the it's, middle. It's tight. Yeah. <laughs> Wonders of nature. Oh, I don't like this pillow. Oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, it's a pillow and a pillow. Wait, let's uh, show them the stain on the corner there. The pillow inside has writing on it or, or des design. Floral design. Look at that but, right look at, there. but what is that? Is that inside? Is that diarrhea? There's something on this right here. All right, so we have we have a... Second. A pillowcase within a pillowcase. Oh, no. Look at it. This is an old ass pillow. Very from, old. This could be a. From the 80s. It, this it, is from the 80s. 80s? Look at it. It's hand painted. <laughs> it's from the Victorian yeah, era. Look at this. <laughs> oh, come on. This is over top of another pillow. Come on. I'm not kidding you. Should we? Should we? Oh, look what's inside. Oh. Oh god. Oh, it's it's just deteriorating. What? Why is that clean and everything else is Shh. Don't tell anybody I did it. Oh. It's oh, no. another one! Are you fucking kidding me? It's another zippered or sewed up layer. Oh, come Take on. It. Come on. It's this a, is a nesting pillow. What is going on? We're going to get to the bottom of this. Here we go. Oh, and then inside is the actual... That's the... Uh, the... But this was sewn by someone. Yeah. Oh, God. Look how disgusting it is. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. There, we've just disassembled an entire pillow. And it's not one pillow. It's no, it's not. That's a pillow there. And it... So they took... The, a couple of pillows. They took a couple of old pillows. The filling. And then filled, took them, put those together, put the new thing over it, sewed another thing over it, then put it in a pillow case. With a zipper. With a zipper. And then, and then, 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 then they put that on it. I mean, that is crazy. <laughs> we just disassembled a fucking... How is that possible? Oh, my God. But that really... It is. was like six steps to get to the bottom. That is the nesting pillow. How hard is it to just go buy a fucking pillow? Why would you want to make a pillow? That's the thing. It's like they spent more in time. But here, now I feel safe if I sit on that. Yeah, true. Uh, Whatever germs were in there are yeah, dried that, up. That was the most bizarre. That was truly thing I've ever found. That was truly a lot of fun. That was like 
a Christmas gift, like those little yeah, dolls. Yeah, it just kept... It, Russian nesting dolls. Yes, it's just like that. Okay, I'm seeing... Uh, oh, this is two layers, I'm sorry. These are, these are laundered and brought in. They must have their sheets laundered by a service. Yeah, they, uh... And then, folks, at the end of this... Actually, you know, I'm glad they charge 80 if this means you get clean sheets. Oh, yeah, it's great. And then, folks, at the very end, because the sign of the motel is right outside the door, we'll get the big reveal. When we leave, we'll open the door, you'll get to see where we are. But okay. we can't we can't do it right now while because we're... Because you'll come here. Yeah, somebody... No, somebody will come here or they'll call and tell them what we're doing. One or the other... Can't have it. Can't have it, can't do it. It's more of that diarrhea looking shit. Yeah. Over here is some. Uh, burn? It could be a cigarette burn, yeah. I don't see anything that looks like an insect part. Just lies. I feel like Rod Serling in the Amityville Horror. Remember when he goes up to the room and all the oh, what is that? What is that? Is it food? It looks, oh! It looks like what was up on the uh... here. Here. That looks like it. Hold on. Just take your hands away from it. Let me see. Can you hold the light like that, like yeah. that angle? Oh. Yes. Part of an abdominal shell? Yep, that's uh -huh. exactly what it is. So it's another bed bug bit. Yeah. So it's part of a bed bug's uh, outer shell. Where did you put the other right one? Right there on that piece of cardboard right there. Yeah. Oh, there it is, okay. So what we're seeing there, folks, is we're seeing... That there's something happening. Or it happened. Look at this, though. Dried up bed bug. Is, uh, but what is this? I, I don't think it's a bug. It looks like a, a booger. With, Thank you, with, it's a booger! It's a booger. Oh. <laughs> it's a booger with blood in it. Thank you. Oh it's my. a bloody booger. Oh gosh! <laughs> it's a bloody booger. Look! Look at the look at the fly. Look at it. What the hell? Kill it! I can't believe you missed that. It's a bloody booger. They're fl they're fucking fast, you know. Yeah, they are. All right, let's continue down the road here. Some of our favorite hits. Right here. The bloody booger. Oh. Here we are. We're going to get another look at a, a second-rate, lightly used mattress. Oh, wow. Oh, it's glamorous. Wow, it's so clean. I could just... Same thing. I would come up in here and throw away everything and then just go out and buy new sheets and I'd get rid of everything. And I'd get uh, proper uh, metal frames. And pro yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you're done. Clean it and clean it. This is a Serta Perfect Sleeper, and it is new. It is new. Look at the label. It's like a brand new label. Yeah. See that? But see, then you got some stains there. So it's hard to say. I don't know. It's it, it's it's second hand, whatever it is. You think? Yeah, it's not. It's second hand, or it's overstock, or pieces that had stains on them that they wouldn't sell in the stores. Right. So. Here's this is another piece of bed bug. Yeah. Yeah, that's another piece. It's, it's the shell. Oh, 
this uh, cover is already damaged in the corner, so it's no longer any good. Alright. Whatever. Let's zip this up. Let's see what's beneath. What in the God's green earth is that? Is that a bed bug that got swooshed? Is that an insect? I don't know what it is, man. I don't think it's insect. Is it a piece of shit? I think it is. No! I think it's shit. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! It, it is a turd. It's fucking... How does... How did that happen? Somebody wiped their finger off under the damn mattress after they stuck it up their lover's ass. I don't know. Maybe All right, just... that's poop. Yeah. Little chunk of poop was on there, and somebody just said, oh, I'll wipe it. There's more stainage. Yeah. On this edge. Now that right there looks interesting. What we got there? Where the hell did it go? It's right there. It's not. It's not. Okay. I think it's it's not. It's snot. Yes. It's it's, it's not. It's, it's not. I'm afraid. I hope you are enjoying. Oh, this is interesting. Oh. Well. We have. Uh, some Why is this thing built this way? Could someone please explain? Same foundation. But it's so stupid. I mean, this is also the same box room. Same type as we had over here. So it's two matching beds. You can see it over here. Yep. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically the same. It's the same bed as over there. Same bed. A little more gross because of uh, some boogers and more bug parts. And, and this person like me does not like to nail There's nails. insects behind here. Are there? Uh, Let's slide this back. They look like, I think they're, um, uh, Chinese. Chinese stink bugs. Oh no. So those are or are they roaches? Roach. Oh, it is a roach. Okay. Alright. Quick look at that right there, the trip. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. I still wouldn't sleep in this bitch. I know. I'd have to go out and buy linens. I wouldn't be able to sleep in the bed. I wouldn't be able to do it. It's just, it's, it's. No! Look at the bottom there. That really is nasty. Mouse droppings. Yeah. So we have mouse droppings, roach. A little bit of bed bug, and we got something on the back there that I don't like. Stains on the top. It probably has something to do with the brown, the diarrhea shit that was on the comforter. And down there. And these are useless now because now they have holes. Exactly. Well, the other one did too on top of it. The bed bugs can crawl right through that. Yep, so the corner of um, the top, but this has got something on it. You ever heard the expression polishing a turd? Yes. That's what has happened here. They've made the bare minimum adjustments to make the room habitable. But it's still disgusting. Mean, it's just disgusting. In my book. I know there's some people who are like, wouldn't mind staying here. I, I don't... 
Well, we'll talk about. It. We still got we a little bit ways to go. A little bit before we talk about it. Yeah, we got to do some tests and some other things. So while Rick is assembling, disassembling, disassembling the bed, I'm gonna plug in my telephone. Um, where did the wire go? It's right there. Okay. I've been <sighs> All right, perfect. Is Dolly watching? She couldn't find it. All she has to do is go to my Facebook page. I told her. Hello, everyone. So I'm just going to sit here and say hello for a few. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, there we go. Oh. The beds were probably really... This room, Rick, was probably a complete disaster before they painted it. I mean, it's painted. It's been painted. They've done some work on it. It's improved. I, I still wouldn't stay here. To be honest with you, I wouldn't stay here. Hell no. Rick, could you please, um, we're live streaming. Yes. And we really need to get off the phone and, and, and make the audience happy. It's kind of the point of live streaming, you know? Pardon me, Master. Rick, you can now live. Sh what is the total? What is the the total on Rick's uh, page now? Has he reached? What number has he reached? Has he reached a thousand? Up. Uh 1,026. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much. See, Rick? He loves it. It, like, makes his whole life complete. Now, everybody just watch that one video, like, 4,000 times, and I'll be able to do... Rick's introduction <laughs> video that we shot in my apartment. It's... 30 seconds long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I can get for 4,000 viewer hours. Something so, like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, so thank you all very much for that. that Rick really is very nice. excited. We're all excited. So, anyway, what we're going to do uh, in just a few minutes, uh, I want to do some swabs, some bacteria swabs. Uh, to do a bacteria count on some of the surfaces in here. Specifically, I think the bathroom door handle. Yeah, that's not a good medium. Why? The metal? It's not going on. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, we did a metal one and it worked. You did? Okay. Yeah. We're going to do the bathroom door. Well, I, we, I just like to do the sink surface. Now, honestly, this room has been... I don't think anybody's stayed in here lately. Oh, damn. I knew it. Look at this. I knew it. It's just, they don't fit. 
the bed does not fit all the way across so the, the thing. Bed, so when you're laying on it, it'll tip back and side forth. Side. Oh yes, that's a good one, uh, Rain. Uh, the back of the. This one's better. But it's still. Look at it. If you're like me, I'm rolling around all night. It's gonna. What is that? Oh my god. Oh god. Nothing. Nothing important, man. I was just pulling your leg. Oh, okay. I was like, it's the bacteria meter, isn't it? Yeah, I just broke it. It's in half. It'll just come up as, everything will come up as error. Error. Um, swabbing the pillows or comforter. Uh, we can. We can swab that. But a lot of the things you got to remember, too, this room has been... Um, this, I don't think anyone has stayed in here in a while. Yeah, this room was closed up. So, it's possible that some of the colonies, colonies, or bacteria, mold, whatever, fungus need moisture to grow. And it may be that we don't have, uh, we, we won't have any high readings tonight because of the, uh, the amount of just the room being not used oh this works oh this feels good I'm just gonna open this up and let it cool my crotch down hey AC Castillo welcome Rick your your chat your damn thing is going all the way up Nathan Bradley any plans to come to Massachusetts yes I don't know when, though, but it's going to be sometime in the next year. Abhors and Allen. Nothing like watching a nasty bed deconstruction on a 105-inch screen. Keep up the good work, gents. Thank you. Jason, 504 Road Trips. Hey, Jason. We enjoy the live ADRs. Let us know when you're in New Orleans. We'd love to meet up with you again. Jason and Carrie, we'd love to do that. Uh, someone maybe in September. Nameless gave us a nice five bucks. Thanks very much, Gwincy ninety. Congrats, Rick, on hitting a thousand subs. Thank you very much. It's very good. Um, another nameless person gave us ten bucks. Thank you so much, nameless person. Kyle H. I work for an event planning company called CSI DMC. Just worked. A program in Baltimore at the Belvedere Hotel. So awesome but creepy. Love Baltimore. Kyle H., one of my favorite haunted, creepy places. I think I talked about in one of my feeds about Ray Rivera. That is like two weeks ago, maybe. You can go and listen to my story about working at the Belvedere um, back in the 90s. Um, Roxanne Falls. Again, Rick, congratulations. Roxanne from Amanda also wants to say congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank uh, you. Smallest Step also. Thank you, sir. Says congratulations. I want you to show your ass. Now. Cobalt. Yeah, just real quick. Don't do it. Like, don't make. Don't linger on it. Oh no, he loves this. See. Oh God, it's so bad. <laughs> oh my God, it's hideous. It's nice and clean. It's ready for action. Um, it's nice and clean? Yes. We can swab it and find out how clean oh, it I is. Oh, I don't know about that now. We can just go down in the crack with one of them. Oh, with the swab right down in the crack. Yeah, grab it. We'll do that real quick. Yeah, not right now. No, 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 let's do it. No, we're not. We're not doing uh, Cobol. Nice. Rick, your channel's over a 1,000. Thank you, Thank sir. you. Love Bubble. Offs, I'll say it since no one else will. Those flies are fat, slow, and happy from feeding nearby. The walls are crawl space. I can't be the only serial killer tuned in tonight. Love Bubble, I, uh, I got to say, I mean, the flies are probably feeding on something in one of the walls. 
Florida the neighbor's dead. <laughs> but Love Bubble, thanks for that. Oof. Dixie Clary, I have one of those thermometers that has the NSF logo. Yes. So yes, they are professional. Rick knows Thank whereof you. he speaks. A little disagreement between Dixie Clary Rick and Bill Platt. Well, but I thank you for... Pokey Cactus. I think Rick is lying about his career. <laughs> the former one? Oh, God. Roxanne Falls. Rick is my spirit animal. Jessica M. You should give a shout out to my girlfriend, Liz. Liz! Liz! What's up, girl? Icy Bass is 17. Rick, I'm going to die from laughter. <laughs> National treasure. Thank you. Holly Nicole, get him, Rick. Television head, keep summing up Rick, guys. Let's catch him up to Dan. Oh, my God. Bill Platt. Impossible. Never catch him. Uh, we already, we already, I'm not going to read it again, Bill, because it will trigger Rick into another breakdown. No, Bill, it's okay. And, uh, Bill's you know. fine. Uh, RWD, please, one. Rick deleted my first super chat, so here's some money for real... For some computer lessons and a real thermometer, you Thank hack. You. <laughs> you hack. <laughs> Harold oh. Simu, uh, Harold Simu, uh, swab that crack. Things falling apart. Love the bacteria meter. It's like a New Year's Eve countdown with every swab. It's true. Nolan Shenburn, you should swab test the soap. That's not an. That's not a, a bad idea, actually. Okay, Rick, let's do your crack. Come on. We're going to do your... Dan, Bell. That is kind of rude. You better get me on camera. <laughs> Alright, so let's start with the guesses. How high up the crack are we talking? We're just going to go into the... Just into the crevice? The cup. What's the cup called? The... the Right above the anus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to circle it around the anus <laughs> until you go. Uh. <laughs> All right. So this meter here, Are for those of you that you say this is a Hygienia System Shore Plus bacteria meter. So you know my ass crack is not hygienic. We are going to uh, take some guesses here. Now this goes up to 9,999 bacteria. Um, a, a clean reading is anywhere between 0 and 10. Uh, 10 to 20 is a caution zone you should clean up. Uh, same goes for 20 to 30. It's even worse. You should, really clean it up. Anything over 30 is a fail. Let's see what's going on in Rick's asshole. Ass crack, excuse me. All right, Rick, come here. We gotta make sure it's on camera. So, right, so you have to pull the drape. Okay, can we, hold on. I'm gonna move the camera down. I was gonna see. people to see. Oh God, you gotta get that angle right. Okay, wait a minute. All right, ready? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, oh no, God, that's it. All right. Oh, God. How demeaning. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Or letting you do this. Okay, we're putting the reagent down into the tester. Oh, man. And it will cover the swab. Oh, yes. So yeah. the bioluminescent light will pass through and be able to see the this, amount of bacteria in Rick's crack. Going for this, what's the number you think we are going to find? I'm going to begin the test now. We have 15 seconds. What are the, I'm going to say 7,000. Uh, 200. I'm going to say seven, like 7,000. 4,398. Oh. I have a dirty ass crack, Dan. But 
Well, that's not nearly as bad as Coach Hayes' belly button. Or mine, which was just a little lower than his. But no, your belly button was 800 and something. No, no, you did one, and I got one that was like 6,000 something, and his was just a little higher. Oh, well, Coach Hayes' belly button was higher than anything. Yes. Bodily that we've tested. Was that, what was it, 8,000? Maybe he was 8,000, I was 6,000. It was like 7,900 or right, something. So yeah, it's really bad. Like, so maybe I was only like a 1,000 yeah. less. Disgusting. Anyway, so uh, don't think I'm doing it. I'm the director. Rick's on camera talent. He likes to make an ass of himself. He Literally. Loves, Rick loves being a spectacle. Hold on. I'll, here, hold this for a second. I'll move this up. Rick loves being a spectacle. Not necessarily in the way and that Dan thinks. So, yeah, so I'm not doing it. We all have 5,000. Well, you guys were good. But as you know, when the price is right, if you go over, you lose. So, in your desire to make me look so bad, you get the wrong answer. Uh, th thank you so much, Tom Fortin, and welcome back. Thank you, Tom. Dark Star Wizard. Hi, Dan and Rick. I'm from Hagerstown, and trust Hi. me, we have a lot of dirty rooms here for you if you were interested. Love what you two do. Oh, well, I've, I've actually I stayed should take, I should take Cochise up there tomorrow. Well, I stayed at a... But there uh, will be another Dirty Room Live tomorrow night, uh, say around 9-ish. I'll announce right, So what is the, the place on Dual uh, Highway? Hold on. Icy Bass 17. Dan, at least buy Rick a drink first. Ah, uh, yeah, right? Josie Rebello, for the love of soap, swab Rick's underboob. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Carrie, Wolsh, uh, Carrie Wolick. Love you, Dan. Thanks for the entertainment. Love you, too, Carrie. Thank you so much, darling. Cleaner. Uh, Dave, yep, yep. David Hack again. Cleaner than Koji's belly cheese. That's true. And Thank you. And stitching, no fat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um. <laughs> But what kind of a thing is that to brag about, that I was not as bad as Cochise? You know, I really don't know. I, I really don't know. Uh... <sighs> All right, I say we do a few swabs, and let's check out the bathroom. All right. So now we're going to go do a few swabs in the bathroom and check it out. Give it a little examination and see what we can find. So I'm going to bring just three tests. Just three. We don't need more than three. she is all right I'm just gonna start off in here real quick hey Rick hey. there seems to be something in the sink that I'm gonna turn this around uh, did you did you throw something in the sink? oh that's that booger oh okay I was gonna say it's the booger sorry all right <clears throat> So let's do a surface swab of the counter. That would be a smart one. Yeah. I think we're just going to surface swab the counter. We'll do it right here where the soap is. Um, okay. Right in here. Yeah. Somebody said when you were like dipping my crack, you double dipped. Well, you can't double dip. You heard that on Seinfeld. You should know by now. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, we're putting the reagent down inside of the tester. Oh, ice machines are terrible, you know it. Oh, do they give, do we have an ice bucket in there? No, we don't have any. But you were saying ice machines. So my crack is the standard. Let's see, well, see how much your crack would be. All right, so we're looking for, we're just going to do a little thing here to see if they clean the sink basin. Ever. I don't think they, I, I think it'll pass. No, it, it failed. It failed 70. Yeah, it's 70. So they haven't cleaned the sink basin. <clears throat> Um, Compared to me, it's, it seems clean as heck. Yeah, but it's still... But you wouldn't want to brush your teeth off of my butt crack. You wouldn't want to brush... I, I, if you put your toothbrush, although your toothbrushes can be dirty too, but... Oh, that would be... You know, this is, this is filthy. Let's do the toilet seat as well. The lid has a little damage. It's interesting. Um... We're just going to do the toilet seat real quick. Oh, no, the dreaded toilet seat. That's how I got AIDS. I sat on the toilet seat. Sure, buddy. King's so good with these swabs. The toilet seat does not look, does not appear to have been washed. Did you get a smear of anything? No, not yet. But... Well, here, you hold this. I'll put it in there. Here, you can start it up. Oh, wait, I haven't... You haven't done the whole thing. I already have to order more of these. Scientific devices are expensive. Just FYI. Even in the supplies, these throwaway test strips. Yeah, these are like four bucks. Each. Yeah. If you buy a hundred of them at a time. Okay, so for the toilet... I don't think the toilet's gonna the toilet seat's gonna pass either. And that's something you think if you come in to the room and you sit down. You want to clean. You want to have a clean toilet seat. So is it gonna pass? No, it's 91, so it's dirty. Hasn't been cleaned. Probably wiped with like a wet towel or something, whatever they had in here. A wet ass. A wet ass. We could also rub the last tester into this carpet. We talked about this earlier, thinking that this would be nasty. What do you think? I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be real nasty. All right. What about the underside? Yeah, film me uh, just doing the... Look at the underside of it before you pick the, the... I'm just going to take it up and bring it up here. It's, it's damp, too. Which... Yeah, it's damp. Oh, my God. I can just... You pay attention. I am. It smells horrible. I'm going to actually swab the wet area. Okay. Oh. It smells so bad. Like uh, rotten feet? Yeah. Yeah, try All to they keep it to, off of you. All they'd have to do is put this in a wash machine. Washing machine. I mean, is it even essential? Usually people throw down a, a, a launderable... Yeah, I mean, just get rid of this and put out... The normal heavy the, uh, thing that you usually find people have that you put on the floor... It's a floor mat. Now, maybe we don't get any reading off of this. 
but it it is definitely uh, smells like it smells like mold. Do you know what I mean? All right, so sink basin failed, toilet seat failed. failed. Let's see how we do here. Let's see how we do with this. I think it's going to be off the charts, says Tom. Fort it's hard to say. It is wet. It is damp. So it's it has not been laundered. I don't think ever. Four thousand four hundred. Oh come on! Yeah. So um, four thousand four hundred and one. Just as bad as my ass crack. It's. Yeah, I mean it's it's standing. You're standing on a dirty ass. Basically. So this is what you're you have for standing on at the sink, going into the shower, in and out of the bathroom. Ridiculous. Why does yes. this have to be here? So four thousand four hundred. Um, I mean it's it's just. I mean, this isn't even suitable for outside the door no, of no, the place. No, it's on not the, on the sidewalk. It's extremely dirty. Uh, it's it's covered in and there's some reddish right there, right here. Yeah, I see it. So that's never been washed. That see, this is why, you know, if you're if you go to a hotel and you they have a bath mat and you put it down. And the bath mat goes into the wash after you leave. Right, that's the way it should be. And that, I don't know why they have this system put in here differently. Now, Rick, do you want to run any heems? Um, Where do you think we might have a con? Um, we, just, we didn't know whether it was food or anything. And otherwise, everything was shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't any blood. Spots. Otherwise, everything was shit. Literally. <laughs> well, just for good measure, I think we'll run one on the. We'll just do one on the on the thing. See how it is. Do a heme stick. Yeah. <clears throat> Which reminds me, I gotta go home and buy our supplies. Get stock going. Because I have to leave on Thursday. <coughs> hey, it looks like food. But then again, it, do, it, lo it looks like it could be a booger <coughs> as well. <coughs> could it be a booger? Yeah. Go with that and let's... Rick's going to wet the swab. I've never seen so many goddamn flies. How would you even... The flies would just... If you were in here sleeping, they would be landing on you all night long. Yes. They would be all over you. Yeah. Every time you eat, you're getting settled or in your face, on your nose. Oops, sorry. Are you ready? Yeah. You see all those dots and stuff? Get those too. Yeah. They're all around the other side as well. Oh, that's really picking up. The more I rub it, it could be blood. All right, let's see. Okay, so we put the sample down in the tester, and we break the first ampule, and it's, uh, well, I've already forgotten what the ingredients are. Damn, yeah, I'm sorry. This is, um, 
hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, right. Yeah. But basically, so if we get a blue-green reading, a blue-green color, that means that we have hit the jackpot. Huh. I think that's a negative. It's definitely a negative. Yeah, so it's not blood. It's crud. <laughs> not blood, it's crud. How could it be? Well, I thought it was like a bloody booger. That's what I thought. Yeah. Because after we saw the booger in the bed, I thought, oh, it's it's going to be a bloody booger. But uh, it is not. Okay. I'm going to plug you guys back in again. I'm going to wash my hands, have a cigarette, and then I guess we're ready for our final rating. Yep. There's really nothing else left to... to Oh, wait a minute. We didn't open the drawers. Well, we could do that. Let's do that right now. Before we forget. We don't have a lot of drawers, I'm sorry to say. I'll start here. Yep. Nada. Oh, oh God! Sorry, bed. fucking bed. What's all this splatter on the front of this thing? Yeah, that's a different story. I don't know. Huh. Could be a just a cleaning product. It didn't spray yeah, it. like a wax cleaner or something. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, you really think they're wax cleaning the furniture? Yeah, well, it was plump and clean. What's that? <clears throat> that looks like something I don't want to touch without a glove. For that reason. Oh my god, what is it? Rick. Rick, what is that? To get the light off of it. Rick, is this a booger? Is this a it's a booger. I'm not. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. Hold the light for me. Okay. Oh my god. It is, isn't it? It's a bloody booger. It's got a nose hair in it. It's got a nose hair in it, and it's a bloody. Or is it something else? Did somebody pull like a. Like a sk oh no! This is what it is. Wait, turn, Rick. Come here. I gotta turn it's it a, over. It's a freaking um, wart. It, it it's some kind of yeah. It's it's definitely some kind of uh. He's off the skin. See that? Look, oh. the light. Move the light. Move the light. I can. Where where am I here? Oh god, shit's going all over my fingers. Yeah, it's... Oh, my God! I think it's a wart. It's like a wart or something. Move the light. It's in the camera lens. Oh, it oh. fell. Get that off your hand. Move. Yeah, it looks like it's somebody picked a... Oh, shit! Somebody, like, picked a wart off of their... Can you give me a light in here? Yeah, somebody picked a wart off themselves or... Oh, that's a lovely find, isn't it? That's sweet. Yes. That's a really sweet find. A wart. Either that or a gro. But why would they throw it in the drawer? I don't know. They deliberately wiped it in the crack of the drawer. Oh. Let me wash my hands real yeah. quick. That acid is burning my fingers. Fuck. Alright. 
You guys get a nice little ASMR session with me washing my hands. And I'm going to use the Gemini Bat Collection soap that we discussed earlier to wash the bloody wart. Rick, that's one of the most disgusting things we've ever found. I think so. So much better. Now, since the sink did not pass the tests for swab, I won't be touching anything on the sink after I wash my hands. Can you fucking believe that? Oh my god! I had to pull it out. Where is it? I had to pull this out. Oh, 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 to get the key. The key fell right oh, there. Oh no! But there's nothing behind. Take advantage of the view. This piece here. Is slide it. I will not touch any of this food. No? Nope. I thought you thought it was great. Why? It's good. It's in the bag. The flies have been all over it. It has not. The it box has been covered up. No, thank you. I'll eat spaghetti at home. Oh. Wow, how clean. So proud. I just want to remove everything of mine off of here. Like, immediately. With the flies and the bugs and the everything flying around. Okay. We're not expecting to find a severed wart. Never, never are. We find Somebody those. picked. Why wouldn't they put that down the sink? Um, or right in the trash. I mean, come on. What the fuck? I mean, why? Why would you wipe it inside of a drawer? I don't know. Why would you put boogies on the wall? The wart ruined the whole room for me. The wart ruined... Because all I can picture is some like crackhead, like picking it off of themselves or using something to cut it off. And it's probably not a word, it's probably like, it could be like melanoma or uh -huh. some, you know what I mean? Or a Kaposi sarcoma, something like that. Like it, okay. it looks horrible. Um, so yeah, so I, uh, they want us to test it for blood. I don't want to touch the wart. We're done. I just washed my hands. What? Test it for blood. So what is it? It's going to show up blood. And then what? Just don't worry about it. No. All right. I'm going to do my writing. Rick. Uh, I'll go first. So we're gonna rate the room as we do on every dirty room. We rate the room one being the worst, five being the best. Uh, one being like the absolute worst, want my money back, I'm not staying there, horrible, bad. Um, 
The beds here are iffy at best. But once you find anything bed bug in the bed, I'm out. <clears throat> so <clears throat> they are iffy at best. The bathroom after we tested the surfaces and that's just the basic cleanliness in any inn or hotel or motel is to what bleach down the bathroom, clean it so it's clean for every guest. So you don't have to worry about after the services failed and then that rug came up 4,500 on the bacteria meter, which is like outrageously high number. It means it's it means it's it's just. It's literally like fruiting. I mean, literally. It's like Rick or Code Cheese level. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but I think it's a whole different spectrum of bacteria. Yes, I think so. On there than you'd find on yourself. But anyway, uh, I'm going to give the room a one. Oh! Uh, the flies. I just, two flies landed on two separate legs. The same time. At the same time. Um, it's a one for me. Uh, it could have been a two, maybe, if there weren't any flies and the beds were okay. But the bloody wart took it over the top for me. So I'm giving it, it's a very weak one. Borderline two, because it there were positives. I mean, they did paint the room, they replaced whatever nasty mattresses they had in here. They have bed bug covers on, so at least they're trying. But <clears throat> it's just not enough that I'd want to stay here. And at the price point of eighty dollars for the room, that's ridiculous. Um, trying to to squint my eyes into seeing a three. Trying real hard. First bed, I was thinking it was really possible. But then Sit down. other things started to be discovered. Surface. Bacteria loads. The uh, more and more. That's really why I love that bacteria meter, because honestly, it gives a really true reading of like did they clean the surface with like a, a some kind of a cleanser? And I'm, that surface did not look horrible. Didn't look horrible, but it, you got four thousand nine hundred or something. No, that was on the rug. Oh, I'm sorry. But on the sink top, the sink 70? top was seventy, and the toilet seat was ninety, and that's that's too much. Yeah. That means they did not wipe or clean the surfaces in between the last guest and when we rented the room. This whole bed over here. Just detracted from me. Big so, time. So it's a two. It's a two. Yeah, I was not uh, uh, impressed with this place. The air conditioning barely works. The air conditioning was a big. Air conditioning is, is just crap. It's finally just getting the room controlled. And we've now, been here for what? We've been hours. on for an hour, well, 128 minutes. So it's finally now just feeling a little bit comfortable, but it's not comfortable. After two enough. hours. After two hours. So definitely for me a one, Rick gives it a two. I mean, could you sleep here? I was thinking that bed, it was okay. And if I had looked at the filter and pulled it out like we did, which I think is a common thing I'm going to start to do when I go out now. Yeah. Is um, when I get into the room, just take I it out. Filter and if it has anything on it, I'm just going to rinse it in the uh, shower stall. What about uh, the flies? Flies, These... like you said, the flies also were a really big turn off. And thinking about it, that you would be disturbed by these flies continuously. All night. You would be disturbed. They're landing on my neck. Well, and anywhere where I was sweating, the that, flies are landing because they're like drinking the that, sweat. That, you can't have that. I just, but you know, I, I know people fight flies in their own homes and have trouble. So how are you at home? You know how it is. Imagine having a room with like 25 flies. We used to have a couple that are flying. But we're not home. 
uh, we are at a hotel or motel that should not have flies in the rooms. For eighty dollars. For eighty dollars, you could definitely find something. I mean, I just know the hotel near my building. I could get a room there for a hundred, and it's spotless. So you would pay twenty bucks more. But even 80, I mean, you could find a room around here that's better than this, I would assume. But 80 bucks, come on. Th this is just ridiculous. Uh, $80 for this room. I mean, the room, it's a shoebox. It's not even. I mean, I can get. This room is so tiny. You know, 80 bucks I can get, depending on the time, a Hampton room for 79 Yeah. You know, it's. Yeah. And. If you get if you build up your Hilton points, or if you have the like we're off, you know I'm I frequently travel, so I build up a lot of points with airline and and uh, and hotels. So I'm always using my points to get discounts. But I mean, what I, I would never say in a place like this. Forget it. It's disgusting. You know I'm in the Holiday Inn uh, system. That I like Holiday Inn. Yes, very good. What is it, I-G-H? Exactly. I-G-H. Uh, Holiday Inn, as far as I'm concerned, has the best beds in the industry. And if you don't believe me, go stay at a Holiday Inn and sleep in their beds. Their beds are so nice. I mean, uh, it used to be a Holiday Inn and now it's something else. The what was? A Holiday Inn that used to be one. We're talking about a real Holiday Inn. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... Holiday Inn Express is a popular, uh, and sweets is usually. Now you got bites. What's going on here? Well, I have that mysterious bloodletting on my leg. Okay, let's uh, let's do a finish up chat. these super chats here. Oh damn! Cancel. Um. Dallas Alice for your for your pedatine fun. Thank you. Thank you. Cinnamon Enthusiast 93, a swab for you. Thank you, Cinnamon Enthusiast Thank you. 93. Mr. Florp. My girlfriend Krista Graham is an amazing artist on Instagram and loves you two guys. She resembles a koala, but she doesn't have chlamydia. Good. Like most of the wild ones. <laughs> You're a very strange person, Mr. Florp. <laughs> Kaylee H. Please, Dan, from one germaphobe to another, invest in gloves. Yeah, we need to bring more gloves next time. Tom sure. Fortin, thanks for all you do for us. Thank you, Tom, so much. Seeking Rainbows, thank you. Rain, Saltair again. Oh, we're going to do the TV remote. We'll, ha we'll do the TV remote before we get off of here. Restless4400, love you, Dan and Rick. Great job, as thank always. Thank you so much for tuning in. Virginia Fasting. Hi from Wikiwatchy. Oh right, yeah. And some gloves. We we love Wikiwatchy. I hope to be there in October. Teresa D. Hi Dan and Rick. Hi Teresa D. Bill three six nine. Oh man, I got Tim. It was in my head. I just. Bill three six nine. Oh man, I miss a lot of it. Hi Dan and Rick. Love you guys. Love you too. Thanks for tuning in, even though it's late. Now let's. Uh, we're gonna do the remote. All right. So just grab the remote and we're going to do a little test. I forgot about the remote. Here. All right, let her warm up there. Oh, here's the damn thing. Ugh. Oh, it's, it's, it is vile. And it's covered with black uh, skin. All right, let me see it. So your hand, your the way you hold this, your palm is going to be here. So we're going to rub. We're going to do a little bit here. All right, that sounds smart. All 
There's a lot of refuse right there from a hand resting. And this old tape. Oh, it's so cool. All right, and then what buttons are we gonna use? We're gonna use the channel up. Power. And volume, and they're both really dirty. Incredibly dirty, I can just see the I'm going to take a little bit from this side here too, in this crack, it's all, it's all, uh, all right, this remote is really, really, really dirty, uh, so I am interested to see how filthy it is when you put it, you can see there's, there's, look at the remnants on the, it's coming off black. There it goes. Squeeze the reagent down from the top. It's going into... We're so serious now that we've yes, got this yes. tester. <clears throat> no beer tonight either, folks. No alcohol. All right. Any guesses? I'm gonna guess 500. I think that's good range. Yeah. 200 to 500, I'll say 200. So the remote, all you'd have to do, and we've shown this before with other remotes, all you'd have to do is a little bit of Clorox Anywhere, spray it on there, wipe it off, even spray another layer on, wipe it off. It would be between zero and 10, and Oh, 90. 90. Still not good. Not good. I mean, it's still covered with bacteria. So, it's about as clean as the sink basin. Yep. Uh, the toilet, the... So, toilet. The, the toilet seat and the remote are the, the same, same. That's it. The toilet on the seat. same level of cleanliness. Oh, God. The toilet seat and the remote. The toilet seat and the remote are on the same level of cleanliness. <laughs> oh, that was fun, guys. That was so much fun. Uh, before we go, uh, make sure you go over to Rick's channel and subscribe. I think he's very excited about the amount of people that have subscribed this evening. We love you all very much for doing that. I especially, because Rick, I don't, it makes him uh, feel better about his, himself. Yes. As soon as those Help an old go man on. not feel inferior. Uh, please follow me on Instagram at this is Dan Bell. Bell. Also, also, Rick and I do a podcast together. I don't really plug it that often, but our podcast you can listen to it. Uh, we do it twice a week, as long as we're not traveling. But this month is ten episodes this month, so we're doing a few extra because we missed a couple last month. It's wild. Um, it's a crazy podcast. It's it's, sort of, it's adult oriented, I would say. Yes. But it's very it's funny. It's irreverent. It's just like Rick and I how we are. It's stupid. It's funny. Yes. Um, but anyway, you can go check out the podcast at patreon.com slash this is Dan Bell. It's five bucks a month. It helps us pay for Dirty Broom, Devil's Well. What else am I doing? Uh, all the creeps and monsters. The creeps and monsters. Uh, and I'm t I want to take another trip to go shoot uh, the, out in the desert. So there's a lot of stuff coming up, but uh, yeah, it really helps us out. And of course, the super chatters, we really appreciate your support as well. And everyone who has tuned in tonight, there's never an obligation for anybody to give us money no. at all. So don't <coughs> feel obligated or anything. Is it recorded? Uh, yeah, this this broadcast will be later. up, and you can watch it later. And uh, so, and thank you all very much for joining us. Thank uh, you. I will be picking apart another room tomorrow with Cochise Brooks around 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look for the announcement on my social media, which would be Instagram. And I think that's it. Do you have that's any, about it. anything? Nope. 
Oh, follow Rick on Instagram at Instagram at Sarah Sarah dot Rick S E R R A dot Rick. Uh, hold on. What we, whoa, whoa. What did we? Um. Oh, Abra Wilder. Have you ever thought of testing a five-star hotel room to see if it merits the rating? Inquiring minds want to know. We, you know, we don't. Let, we'll answer that. And let me just do this last one. Bill three six nine. Daniel and Rick made me laugh so hard when I went back to you video where you and Rick were shopping at Kmart. We need to do another Kmart run. Oh yes, we love those. We really do. Um, Aura roses. So the reason the <laughs> reason we haven't done any five star hotels. First of all, they're expensive as shit. Second of all, there's nothing wrong with them. You're not going to find anything like what we find in these rooms at those places and it would just be a really boring episode you have to really pick yeah it would be really boring i found some dust in the corner on the floor that they didn't yeah. vacuum i mean it would just be very boring <clears throat> so we don't uh we don't you know we just haven't done it because and then lastly we don't want to tangle with a big corporation if we found stuff and put it up, we don't really want that. But the that. thing is, I mean, we, we, you know, when I travel, I stay at nice places and they don't fuck up. That's the thing. And if they do fuck up, they fix it really fast. So, I mean, I do all the same checks. When I, wherever I stay, I always open up the bed and always look and check for bed bugs or flecking or anything. Because I don't want to be eaten alive at night. No. But in nice places, you just don't see it. They take pretty good care of themselves. One so. thing I don't like about the beds in nice hotels is that everything is so tight, jammed under the end of the mattress. I need room for my legs, so I have to pull everything out to loosen things. So I don't feel like I'm under a tight uh, envelope. Well, there's a, they do that because it's the professional I understand. Industry. So I have to break it free. Standard. <coughs> so I, I know what you're talking about. I just, I undo all everything. Yeah. So I can just have it loose on the bed. Right. But that's Rick's. Well, we're apparently similar in that respect, making it loose. Anyway, so uh, you guys. I'm not talking about your mangina. <laughs> thank you all. And, and I want to say thank you to all of the moderators. You guys yes, are doing thank a you great very much job. For being out there. I'll doing a wonderful job ones. and thank you so much okay so we're gonna get out of here um and i'll see you guys again tomorrow night at 9 p.m eastern standard time we'll do another room i want to find something really bad tomorrow it's daylight time gotta find something bad okay you guys have a great evening thanks wow. for joining us it was fun how do i do this oh here we go